Hey, what's up guys? This is Maxi Johnson and I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today I'm just going to bring you some uh, Battlefront gameplay. I'm going to put on some Walker Assault because let's be honest, I think it's the most awesome game mode there is on Battlefront. So yeah, here where I live, it's starting to get pretty cold actually. We can feel the winter coming. Oh shit. Like this morning was minus 6 outside and I could feel my nose running right when I crossed my door. And here's another funny story that happened this morning. So I think I was like, uh, ab <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> so I take the bus to go to school every day and uh, it comes here around 7.50 in the morning. So I came out of my house at around 7.44, started walking toward my bus stop and literally right when I was at the, around 5 meters from my bus stop, I just see the bus go by and pass. The thing with my street is that there's no stop sign at the end of it. So like, there's a stop sign for every other street on the boulevard except mine. I don't know why. I'm gonna fucking blow them up. Boom! Got him. So obviously the bus doesn't like stop at my street, so if it just passes, it passes without even looking uh, left and right to see if someone's coming. So I start running like crazy to try to catch up to my bus. Like, you've never seen me run so freaking fast. And of course the bus didn't like see me because of course I was, the bus driver is not going to start looking backwards every time it crosses the street just to make sure that no one's actually freaking running after it. So I just see two cars pass by me and I'm hoping that they can like just honk at the bus and make it stop for me. But of course that would have been way too perfect. So no, the cars just go by me and are behind the bus and they just do nothing. Like literally nothing. I mean, I don't know. Don't you see like a bus and then like someone freaking running and like hailing at it? Like shouldn't you think that maybe you could actually do something to help? And just like, I don't know, hunk and use the only power that you can do that I can't do because I'm a freaking human and you're in a car. But no, this guy might be just running because he feels like it, you know. Oh, morning jog. But that's not even the end of it. So then after I catch up my breath from sprinting my freaking life, I go up, take up my phone, and I watch at the time. And sure enough, it was 7.47. The bus passes at 7.50. The bus literally came 3 minutes earlier than the normal schedule. Now, if you don't take the bus, 3 minutes may sound like it's actually good that it arrived early or that it's not such a big deal. But if you're someone that takes the bus every freaking day, then you know how timing is has to be sharp. Like you can't be earlier or you can't be late. I mean, if you have to be one of both, then at least be late because earlier is the worst. But early is not an option. Like you can't come early because then this happens. <laughs> fucking blew him up. But still, I had a lot of hope that someone would actually honk at the bus for me. It's not because you don't know me that you can't, like, just give a little honk to your car, you know? Anyways, it's for situations like this that I take one bus earlier than the usual. Because then even if I miss one bus, I'll still have the, uh, the last one. Anyways, that was this morning's stressful event. I thought the day would get better after this because, you know, I had to run in the freaking cold. But no, 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 no. <laughs> My days don't work like this. I don't just get one stressful event, you know? Of course, life had one more idea in mind for me. So I arrived in my animal care course, which is a compulsory course. I sit down, take out my books, you know, take out my pen, get ready to take some notes. And then the teacher says those seven little words. Get ready for the exam on cats. I think you pretty much understand where I'm getting at. I was like, whoa, what exam are you talking about? I had not a single clue I had exam on cats on that day. I did not even write it in my agenda, just to tell you how unprepared I was. But, 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 life actually was nice today. Uh, I was actually surprised. So as she was getting ready to like give out the exams, uh, she notices that there's people missing. So she was like, okay, well, you know what, since there's some people missing, 
we're gonna keep the exam for the end of the period instead and just go on with the theory. The joy that it brought into my eyes, you have no idea. You see, the way every courses work in animal care is with PowerPoint. So the teacher just has PowerPoint, gives the theory, and just like basically reads us the PowerPoint uh, she made. So after that, she posts it on that kind of website, and then uh, we, we can just grab it from there whenever we want to review the theory. So it was the same thing for cats. We had a PowerPoint for cats. Oh my god, TIE Fighter. I, I, I think this is the first time I'm getting into a TIE Fighter. I've never went into a TIE Fighter before. Holy shit. Well, that lasted long. Yeah, so right after she says that the exam is for the end of the period, the first thing I do is pull out my cell phone and go onto the website where she posts all the PowerPoints. And all I did during the whole time she was giving out the theory, well, I was just reading the PowerPoint on cats so I could be ready for the exam. Because, like I said, the PowerPoint, even if I don't listen, is going to be on the freaking website. So I can just watch the PowerPoint later in the day so I can, like, catch up to the course, you know? So after I was done reading the theory on cats, well, I just kept on listening on the theory she was giving. Do I take? Which one do I take? Which one do I take? Darth Vader. Look at that swag. So after she was done giving out the theory, then the exam starts. And then I did the exam, and actually guys, I think that if I didn't read the, the stuff right before, I would have had 0%. But just because I read it at like last minute, so it was so fresh in my memory, I, I'm pretty sure I had 100%, like for sure. It, like, it would not even surprise me. Come on, you freaking rebels. I don't wanna die. I just started. This will cut you down. So yeah, that was the overall of my day. Missed the bus and then had an unpredicted exam, but it actually turned out to be actually amazing because I think I did pretty well. I actually had a written production, but uh, that was actually pretty soft. Even though it was my final writing production of the year, of the semester actually. Um, I think I did pretty well. I finished like two hours before the end of it. Oh, I see freaking Luke Skywalker coming right here. He's coming. He's coming just for me. And I missed. I can't. Oh my god. Killed by lava. I think I'm like the only one who ever died from lava. Oh, oh, oh. I'm so gonna freaking kill him all. Oh, first kill in the air oh shit that's pretty cool oh that view is actually awesome then we just like kamikaze into each other look at Luke Skywalker running into the field I think I can snipe him from here oh ah, see again I'm, I'm so accurate at this game so that's it for today guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. This is actually the first video I made since the big announcement where I would make um, uh, videos every Saturday. And uh, I hope I'll be able to keep up with that, I'm sure I will. Uh, I'll try my best and uh, please guys, show your support, leave a like, comment and share it with your friends, uh, it can really help. And uh, other than that guys, see you on my next video, stay awesome.